Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Langmaid with Research That Matters TV. Not everyone spends the week preparing to play on Sunday. Most of us will never make it to the NFL, and our big game is more likely to take place in a conference room than a stadium. But no matter what you do for work, it's no fun to try to get through your day in pain. Instead of working with the coach on a new play, your day-to-day -day might consist of long hours commuting, then eight hours sitting at a desk. You may be surprised to discover that all those hours sitting can actually place more stress on your spine than if you were working out and pushing the limits of your body all day long. It might be too late to change careers and try out for professional sports, but there are a few things you can do to stay healthy and productive at work and home, just like the pros. Daily exercise, light stretching, chiropractic care can all help keep your spinal discs healthy and strong. Researchers from Spine found that periodic chiropractic care may help detect, evaluate, and prevent future episodes of back pain. Adjustments allow your discs to stay healthy by bringing in valuable nutrients to help the healing process and flush out those inflammatory substances that can cause pain. So keep in mind, sitting is one of the most stressful positions of your spine. It increases the pressure on your spinal discs. Number two is periodic chiropractic visits can help evaluate, detect, and treat emerging problems, maybe even prevent a future episode of low back pain. And finally, keep your spine healthy with daily exercise, light stretching, and a good mix of chiropractic care. Instead of catching a game-winning touchdown, your idea of peak performance might include a fantastic presentation at your next team meeting. Don't let pain slow you down either way and keep you on the sidelines. You have made an excellent choice to include chiropractic care as a part of your active lifestyle. And if you haven't already included stretching in your daily routine, let us know. We'd be happy to provide a few tips to help get you started. I'll see you next week for another episode of Research That Matters TV.